Hi, I'm Sarah and this is The Daily English Show. It's Tuesday the 25th of April and this is show number 23. I hope you had a good day today. My day was not too bad. I've still got a cold, but apart from that, it was pretty good. Um, I just started a new job recently, teaching part-time at a university, which I'm really enjoying. Uh, the course is a graduate course about elderly care, so the paper we're reading today, it's a research paper, and it has quite a lot of challenging vocabulary in it, stuff like cognitive impairment and prolonged immobilization and incontinence. So there you go. Some new words today for you to look up to increase your vocabulary. On Stick News today, news about spam. The conversation is practicing asking about somebody's health. And the question today is, what's this? The topic is stuff around the house. Kia ora. In Stick News today, the United States is the top spam-sending nation on earth. But they're now close to losing that number one spot. China is catching up. The word spam was born in the 1930s when an American meat company changed the name of one of its products, spiced ham. In 1970, the Monty Python sketch Spam was first broadcast. The sketch is about the Green Midget Cafe, where Spam is included in almost every restaurant item, and a group of Vikings sit in the corner singing. Lovely spam, wonderful spam. Nowadays, the word spam is widely used to mean unsolicited commercial email or junk mail. Spam is highly annoying. Thanks to efforts to find and find prolific spammers, spam is in decline in the US, but in other nations it's still on the rise. There are 13.2 billion spam messages sent every day, and more than 70% of them are from zombie computers. A computer consultant has warned that computer users worldwide need to use better devices to stop their computers from becoming spam spewing zombies. And that was Stick News for Tuesday the 25th of April. Kia ora. <laughs>
It's a remote control. And that was The Daily English Show. Thanks to Dan for pointing out a typo the other day on Sunday's show. I made a mistake and I wrote Bender instead of Blender. So he told me about that and I was able to uh, make a correction. So if you see any mistakes, please email me, the Daily English Show at yahoo.co.nz. I'd really appreciate it if you tell me about any mistakes. And good for your English practice too. Spot the mistakes on, on my blog. See you tomorrow.